Oh yeah, this is just a quick video on the Prodigy uh, Tackle Base Rucksack by Grays. Um, basically at Christmas I decided to get a more relaxed fishing chair to replace my 1990s plastic Galaxy Nova seat box. Uh, so what I was doing for the, for the trips I've done since Christmas, I've taken my plastic box with all my tackling to the bank as well as a chair. So it's, it was a bit of overkill. It's a bit of a pain having to uh, carry that over my shoulder and the chair as well and my, obviously my rod hold also. What I'm doing is I'm moving across to this rucksack. So I'm hoping I can fit everything that I've got there. I've got a bit, this is my bait bag at the moment, so it's a bit too much bait in there. I've got some extra pellets as well, so I won't necessarily need to take all that to the bank. I'll probably put that in plastic boxes and just take what I need for a day's fishing. But hopefully, and this is on my camera kit that I take to the bank, so hopefully I'll be able to fit everything that I take, or as much as I need to take, in this bag. What has impressed me so far, I've just I've just unboxed it and just taken it. It's just, it's just the pure amount of compartment. So obviously normally you get a big bag um, and you've got to try and everything falls out, but this seems to have a home for everything. You've got a little top section there, which I'll probably use for my winder box. Refrigeration section there for bait or for your lunch or for drinks. And then down each side, you've got separate size sections for different, obviously you can either put things in loose or cake, things in cases. I'd imagine you can fit a reel on these ones there. Slightly deeper one there. The ones that flop would hit the ground, have got a rubberized coating, so I don't know if they get muddy. Front one, same again. And there you've got some different compartments that you can put little feeders in or spools of reel or anything like that really just so it's immediately at hand again down this side you've got the same compartments as on the other again the bros on the bottom section you've got little loops here that you can put carabiners on clip nets to or your waist slings and then coming round to the back you've got two shoulder straps and a waist strap and they all buckle together as well. As you can see, even though, even though the bag's empty, it stands up by itself. So when it's got some things in, that's the main section as well. So it's pretty spacious. Um, it, it, when it's got things in, it'll just hold up by itself on the back next to you on your chair. Um, what I'm hoping to be able to do as well is to whether I can get a small kind of octopus super stall or new fish rester box or a homemade aluminium box seat in the main section so then if i do want to pole fish i can use that chair rather than using the uh, lazy chair for feeder fishing let's see i'll get on so i've just filled the backpack up now you can see my uh, old seat box is now pretty much empty uh oh, bag. It's now empty. This was my camera gear in here. It's empty apart from the chest harness, which wasn't really suitable for fishing that I tried. My grain bait and pellet bags are still out at the moment, but what I'll do is I'll put those into different um, takeaway boxes that I can then fit in the main section. Obviously, I don't need to take all those to the bank every time anyway. So, I'm going to fill this up now so it's not zipped up. So the top one, put my winders box in there, with all the different pole and whip rigs. Then we've got the bait, refrigerated bait section. Obviously, I'll prepare my pellets and put them in there um, on a day. Little wafters, tubs and little tub of pellets. Uh, sweet corn cans, aga box. This side I've got my battery packs for my cameras. And then I've got my reel. And this one, a little old Ficam case. Head harness in it. Little rod rest um, mount that I made for my phone so I can take photos of my fish. A little hook case in there. Sunglasses case. Pull lubricant. Underneath for my peg fees, hat and gloves, head torch in that section. And here we've got my 
the main tackle box, which actually fits perfect. It's not one of the greatest ones it's designed for, but it's one I've always had. Just a little there's number on there, a Rayco service case. It's got a little compartment in there with all my different floats and shot and disgorgers and feeders and bits and bobs. Just an envelope with my license and various passes in there. That one I've just put in spool lines and spare hooks for now. So I don't want to put the feeders in there. And then the main section, unhooking mat, my various feeder rod rests and clamp rod rests, uh, waist sling, catapult, a sieve for my ground bait and pellets, and my drying towel. So yeah, I'm pleased with that. I've got everything in there. I'm not sure how much is going to weigh now. Um, but everything I need for at least a day's fishing can fit in that one bag. So it's going to be a lot easier to carry than the plastic box over my shoulder because it's obviously going to be strapped onto my back. And then I've got my two hands free then to carry, one to carry my rod hold all and one to carry my chair.